The final episode of Arrow Ever, which is Season 8, Episode 10, titled Fade Out, which is the 170th episode of the show, has been released, and with that episode, Arrow is over, it's complete, there's never going to be a new episode of Arrow ever going forward. Because of that, I thought this would be a better time than any to go over my top 10 favorite episodes of Arrow, narrowing down the 170 episodes that we've gotten, a lot of which are really, really great, some of which, in fact, a good amount of which are pretty bad, some of which are mediocre, but there are a good amount that were great episodes, so narrowing it down to 10 was actually not that not that easy, but I did it. In this video, I'll be going over my top 10 favorite episodes of Arrow ever, and with that in mind, let's begin. Years on a deserted island and you came back a vigilante? Seems a little far-fetched. Just one more thing I gotta do. Season 8 is maybe the best season of the show. It's definitely, I think, the most uh, consistently great season of the show, as almost every episode is a 9 out of 10 or up, but I think the first episode in particular is uh, just a cut above the rest. This episode is so good. From all the homages to Season 1, all of the recreations from the first season, the emotional moments and, and the characters they brought back, even the revamping of Black Canary, which I thought this episode did very, very well, but also I think it's mainly the ending. This insane surprise ending of the destruction of Earth 2, the beginning of that crisis, that was so, so good, that made this episode one of the best episodes of the show ever. Because of that, I think that season 8 implemented itself into, at least with one episode, the top 10 best episodes of Arrow ever. If the police find him, they're gonna kill him. I'm not gonna let that happen. No one dies tonight. Back down! You should kill me. This episode was really, really intense. The placement in the season, like this part of season two, is some of the best things that we ever gotten from Arrow ever. Like, like a whole, like a whole ten episode period where every episode is so great. And seeing Red is one of the best ones from that whole, whole thing. It's really intense. It's very well done. And all the lead up to Moira's death, especially with the flashbacks, it made for one of the most emotional deaths on the show ever, making for one of the best episodes ever. Prometheus knows who we all are. He knows that I'm the Green Arrow. I know everything. Who you love, who you trust, who you've hurt. Evelyn, why? This episode is probably the best episode of Arrow ever in terms of the tone. It's so invigorating, it's so engrossing, it's so intense. The way they shoot everything, the darkness of it all. Prometheus is an amazing villain, even though he hasn't been unmasked yet, where when he was unmasked, he became even better. Even back then, he was really, really threatening, really menacing, and one of the best villains ever. But the twists and turns we see in this episode, specifically the uh, the uh, manipulation that Prometheus puts Oliver through to kill Billy Malone, the return of Laurel, who we literally later learn is the Earth 2 Laurel, but still in that moment, it was crazy, and the flashbacks, which have some of the best fight scenes ever, some of the best tone ever for Arrow, making this, again, one of my favorite episodes of Arrow. This guy, it's like he's not human. He's human. Well, then you can kill him. Man. It's time you joined me. Arrow Season 2 had what is arguably the best mid-season finale of the Arrowverse ever, or at least definitely one of the best, as this episode was really, really well done. The acting is good, the, the fight scenes are great, there's all, so many things going for it, like the ghost scene, specifically Tommy's, which is emotional, Barry Allen being hit by lightning, which gave me chills the first time I watched it, and Slade's monologue at the end, revealing that he's the villain of the season. It's such a perfect mid-season finale, and it's one of the best episodes of the show. you here to this moment to the ultimate fight who am i fighting a being who stands against all there ever was or will be the apocalypse itself I know uh, Crisis on Veneris is not exactly as beloved as I personally would have hoped it to be, like not as uh, universally loved, but I absolutely loved it, especially this episode, as it had a lot of great, great things going for it, the storyline of the episode, the villain Anti-Monitor was very, very well done, and especially Oliver's death, which I didn't think his death in part one of the crossover was the perfect ending to the character, I thought it was an emotional death, it was great shock value, but as Stephen Mel said, they kind of did him dirty there, but in part four in particular, 
sure. I think he got his worthy send off, and it was, in my opinion, the most emotional death in the Arrowverse ever. So because of that alone, and because of the rest of the episode, like the twists and turns and the surprises this episode has, I think it deserves to be very high on the top 10 Arrow episodes ever list. This entire family. Not yet, kid. No chances, no mistakes. What's wrong, Mr. Quain? You look a little peaked. Starting off the top 5 is The Promise, which is in my opinion the best episode of season 2, as it is a perfect 10 out of 10 episode. It's incredibly intense, Slade is such a menacing villain in this episode, and the flashbacks itself, I mean, uh, people have complained about the flashbacks in the past, but in season 1 and 2, I think the flashbacks were equal to the, pre to the present day in terms of how great they were, and in this episode in particular, the flashbacks are absolutely amazing, showing the basically the origin story of the rivalry between Slade and Oliver and it does it perfectly, making for one of the most intense and one of the best episodes of the show ever in the top five. Cardo Diaz broke into the prison. Stand down. I wonder what it's gonna be like going against the entire prison. I'm coming for you. The Slapside Redemption felt like its own uh, season finale of sorts to the prison storyline, which is a, a, a basically a breath of fresh air for Arrow during a time where, between season 5 and 8, where not really much was going on, This the prison storyline was really, really good, and this, the climax of that storyline, was handled absolutely perfectly. For the first time in the show, even though he's been on for a while, Ricardo Diaz was a good villain, like a very good villain, in this episode with a great rivalry with Oliver Queen. The episode has some of the best fights scenes in Arrow ever, some great storylines, even a good redemption arc for Bronze Tiger in particular, and it is such a satisfying conclusion to one of the best storylines of Arrow ever, the prison storyline. He's willing to sacrifice for the people of the city. Let's become the hero. Are you ready to die? So this is the only episode from season 1 on the list, which is weird, I think this the season would deserve more episodes, but none of the other episodes are, I think, good enough to make it into the top 10, even though there are definitely some very good ones, but I think it's the season finale in particular that not only deserves to be in the top 10, deserves to be very high in the top 10, as it's the perfect conclusion to a great season. The rivalry between Oliver and Merlin is great, that moment where Merlin tells Tommy his motivation and how, he does, how everyone deserves to die, that was one of the best moments of acting in the entire entire series. The fight scenes are really good. Tommy's death is up there as one of the most emotional deaths ever. In fact, until Oliver died, it was absolutely the emotional, the most emotional death, and the episode, aside from that, has all of these amazing moments. The cliffhanger ending also, it makes for such a great finale to, in what is, in my opinion, a great season. Coming back to haunt me. Seems to be a recurring theme with you, kid. Hello, Oliver. If you want to get your son back. You know what you have to do. I have no interest in this being a fair fight. For the longest time, this was my favorite episode of Arrow ever. It was recently dethroned because it's it's just not, there are certain problems with this, with this episode that are not as easy to look past anymore, but still, the problems are obviously not that significant since it was only dethroned to number two. This episode, I think, is so great. Prometheus is an amazing villain, definitely my favorite villain from, from any one season, and this was the perfect ending climax to that season, and that villain, the fight scenes here are amazing, they're a lot of fun, the Deathstroke storyline where this episode episode basically gave him a redemption arc, like Bronze Tigers in Season 7, Episode 7, which is also on this list. That was awesome, but obviously it's the ending, the cliffhanger ending, that Arrow didn't really do anything with going forward, but that's not at the fault of this episode. This had such an amazing episode uh, ending that blew not only up the island, but also blew my mind, making it, at the time, the best episode of Arrow ever, but it wasn't actually recently dethroned by a new episode, but it was dethroned, in my opinion, by an episode that came out before it. Before we get to number one, let's go over some honorable mentions, and when I say some, I mean a whole lot. Every episode from the show that I think deserves to get a 9 out of 10 or higher, that didn't make it onto the list, or just I like it a lot, so I, I just wanted to, I think that it deserved to be mentioned. So, from season one, there's episode five titled Damaged, episode nine titled Year's End, episode 14 titled The Odyssey, episode 15 titled Dead to Rights, episode 18 titled Salvation, episode 21 titled The Undertaking, and episode 22 titled Darkness at the Edge of Town.
From Season 2, there's Episode 16 titled Suicide Squad, Episode 18 titled Deathstroke, Episode 19 titled The Man Under the Hood, Episode 21 titled City of Blood, Episode 22 titled Streets of Fire, and Episode 23 unthinkable. For season 3, there's uh, episode 8 titled The Brave and the Bold, episode 9 titled The Climb, episode 17 titled Suicidal Tendencies, and episode 18 titled Public Enemy. For season 4, from season 5, there's episode 1 titled Legacy, episode 6 titled So It Begins, episode uh, 8 titled Invasion, episode 16 titled Checkmate, episode 18 titled Disbanded, episode 21 titled Honor Thy Father, and episode 22 titled Missing. From season 6, there's episode 5 titled Deathstroke Returns, episode 18 titled Fundamentals, episode 21 titled DACA number 1119-4173, and episode 23 titled Life Sentence. From season 7, there's episode 3 titled Crossing Lines, episode 6 titled The Demon, episode 9 titled Elseworlds Part 2, episode 12 titled The Emerald Archer, and from season 8, there's episode 2 titled Welcome to Hong Kong, episode 6 titled Reset, episode 7 titled Purgatory, and finally, episode 10 titled Fade Out, the series finale. With that in mind, if you haven't already guessed what number 1 is, let's find out. And your son. Go to hell. I've already been there, Oliver. And here it is, my favorite episode of Arrow, and also my favorite episode of the Arrowverse right now, is Season 5, Episode 11, titled Capuchon. Like I said, Lian Yu is my favorite episode for a while, and this episode came out like six weeks before Lian Yu, so not very long before. But looking back at Season 5, watching these two episodes back to back, I think Capuchon is better, as it is practically perfect. This episode is equal to the likes of The Promise in terms of intensity, it's equal to the likes of What We Leave Behind in terms of the tone, and while the fight scenes are certainly not the best we ever gotten from Arrow, that would be either The Slab Side Redemption or even Fade Out, this episode does definitely have some great fight scenes. In terms of the main villain rivalry, this episode is better than any other episode in the entirety of the show, as the rivalry here between Oliver Queen and Adrian Chase is absolutely amazing, but there's also a rivalry between Oliver Queen and Constantine Kovar that is pretty great as well, but I think the main reason this is my favorite episode of the Arrow of the Arrowverse, but also of Arrow, is because of Stephen Amell's acting. He's such a great actor, and this is by far, it's not even close, this is by far his best work ever in terms of acting. The moment I, where he says, I wanted to and I liked it, every single time I watch it, it gives me chills. Like I said earlier, the episode 3 Ghosts, the, when Barry gets hit by lightning, it gave me chills the first time I watched it, but not really anymore but this moment I wanted to and I liked it every single time I've seen it and I've seen this episode quite a bit it gives me chills it's such an amazing moment because of those things this is my favorite episode of Arrow in spite of the fact that Lee and Yu was my favorite for a very long time so anyway, that is it. That is my final ranking for the top 10 best episodes of Arrow ever, plus a whole slew of honorable mentions. But let me know your top 10 in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And if this, if this video does well enough, I'll also make a top 10 worst episodes of Arrow ever, which is going to be pretty concentrated into season four. With that in mind, thanks for watching.